and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about randomized method. In this video, I will be talking about reset method. Let me show you a bit theory for this reset method and then we will see a practical code which implements this reset method. If you see the literature, you will find that the reset method used to reset the desired slash mirror value for this register. Sets the desired and mirrored value of the fields in this register to the reset value for the specified reset kind. Let me show you what it means. So first let me explain you the all classes are same as we have been discussing from the last few videos. Just a little modification we have to do in the register sequence. So till body part this body task part of this register sequence all the things are same as we are defining the status desired and mirrored value that also same here we have to define two variables of bit type first one is has underscore rst and get underscore rst in order to store the has reset value and get reset value i will show you that what these two you know, variables are only. The name should be self-explanatory. You can you can give any names, but as I'm defining these two variables to, to understand the has reset method and get reset method. Okay. Then just I'm copying that uh, register class configure method here. Okay. And just I commented this to understand the methods. Okay. Let me show you uh, the you know code for register uh, for sorry the reset sequence reset method. So if you see the code as we discussed that the reset uh, method is used to set the desired and mirrored value variable with the a specified reset value okay so if you see over here the reset method the syntax for that is register block instance dot register instance dot reset method okay. and after that if we are updating our desired and mirrored value we are getting the desired and mirrored value using get and get mirrored value then we will find that this both variable desired and mirrored value variable will have the data 10 because if you see the configure method of the register over there in the parenthesis we have specified the argument like dot reset within parenthesis the value is 10 okay so whenever we are resetting our module it should give the value 10. Hence, this reset method will update or set the desired and mirrored value variable with the value which we have specified in this reset argument. Okay. So after running this code, you will find after reset method, the desired and mirrored value variable will be 10. So if you, if you, if you can see, after reset method, the desired and mirror value will be 10 in the console. Then there are three other methods like get reset, has reset, and set reset. Let me explain you one by one. This get reset is used to get the specified reset value for this register return the reset value for this register for the specified reset kind meaning whatever the value we have specified 
in the parenthesis for reset argument for the configure method this will the get reset is used to get that value okay so let me show you the code for that so this get reset is used to return the 10 because dot reset we have specified 10 over so the variable in which we are storing the get reset value so that variable is equal to register block instance dot register instance dot get reset and we are printing a message after get reset method the value of this get reset variable so after running this code you will find the info something like this after get reset method get reset rst value is 10 because dot reset we have specified 10 over here right in the in the parenthesis of this configure method let me show you another method has reset so this has reset is written with type value it will check if any field in the register has a reset value is specified for the specified reset kind meaning if you analyze this configure method of a register class we'll find over there we have specified has reset in the parenthesis the argument and in the parenthesis of this dot hat reset has reset we have specified one hence this has reset variable which we have defined over here has reset if we are getting the value of has reset in this variable so it will give us it will return one because has reset we have specified one if we specified zero it will return zero so the syntax for that is has underscore rst variable is equal to register block instance resist dot register instance dot has reset and if you are printing after has reset method has rst variable value then it will return us this one has rst value is one why because the dot has r and r reset within parenthesis we have q one over here if we specified zero it will return zero now the another method already we discussed this get reset has reset let me show you the set reset method so this set reset method is used to specify or modify the reset value for this register specify or modify the reset value for all the fields in the register corresponding to the cause specified by kind okay let me show you the code for that so as we specify dot reset 10 over here right if you want to modify in future or if you want to specify value in future then we can use this set reset method to modify that or specify that if we haven't specified so the syntax for that register block instance dot register instance dot set reset and within parenthesis we can provide a value so here i am providing 15 earlier we gave 10 right so it will overwrite and it will overwrite with this 15 over and then if we are calling a reset method so this reset method will set the desired variable and mirrored variable with this 15 okay so after that if we are getting the desired variable and mirrored variable using get and get mirrored value method you will find both will be updated to 15 because we have specified dot reset 8 tick the 15 over so if you analyze the code after set reset method the desired and mirrored value will be 15 and remember this set uh, reset method has reset get reset and set reset method will deals with the register block meaning it has nothing to do with the hardware register or the duty register so if you 
check the waveform for this method you will find it will something like this there is no any content in the hardware registry it will be unknown d in d and d in d out will be unknown also and all the infos as you are getting is from the register sequence class meaning this methods has nothing to do with the hardware register or dot okay so with this i hope uh, you have understood the concept of a reset method now the assignment for you guys is try to play around with this code try to change the you know values in this configure method of this register block the register class reg class okay you can play around like you can give dot reset first is 20 and you can check try to give that dot has reset is equal in parenthesis 0 and you can play around with this code i'll put a link in the description so you can go through the code and you can do this modification and you can observe this okay so thanks for watching this video thank you